<laughs> no, I wish, but... that was more, I wish that was more subtle. No, but it's so true. There's certain things that like, man, like there's little things. Or I wish I had like spoken up for myself at this one moment. Like where would I be if I had done that? You know? 100%. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's easy to to look back and hindsight's 2020, but it's like, it's important. That's why it's important to not let every day just kind of flow by. Like it's yeah, being intentional and knowing exactly, maybe not on the like day to day is tough, but like at least week to week, having like an objective every week. Okay. This week I want to at least, you know, get the kitchen organized and get the closets organized or, or whatever. Yeah. It's like such a stupid example, but like things pile up. And if you don't actually like dedicate time and like focus to certain things like they just keep piling up and then man like I guess I'm talking from, ex- from experience right now all my closets are a gong show right now mm-hmm. like, I, like mind you I'm in a condo so like that's yeah it's different yeah like, you storage, don't have so like storage speed. lockers but it could be so much more organized and I think that would like free up some mental bandwidth for other it would things. it yeah. would but uh, at the same token though like you don't want to spend your days organizing things that you're collecting to so just sit yeah. there yeah, like, yeah no, you go deep into that you know that was a bad example that was a bad example no, no but, but I know what you mean but it's also like you know like you talking about regrets it's like oh man I wish I had played more guitar like I used to be honestly really good at guitar I used to be awesome yeah. ask my mom she'll tell you she would <laughs> no but yeah I, I like I have talent I have a, I have skill there and I just yeah. like let it literally they collect dust and Mm -hmm. but i it's like and even like making music like i love i love electric music i love house music yeah like i know i have an ear for it and i know like if i just took the time to i have i've paid for courses classic Mm -hmm. and i just didn't i haven't done them because you just when you have too many options and you don't have like a clear focus and a clear like objective yeah week or or goal then it just doesn't get done and then you just start to beat yourself i beat myself up a little bit not so much about that but just every, everything because like especially these days you just see how everyone's you know killing it or whatever and you know you have it in you and you know you have the time it's just you don't do it because me personally I just feel like I get too overwhelmed with the amount of options that I just either do none of them or just kind of half-ass a bunch of them yeah I think I, like I know everyone says this but I honestly think that social media plays a huge part of that because if you look at like the amount of time you can end up spending on social media you could be doing other things or like everyone just shows their best self like 80 percent of the time of course and so you think Gu- oh guilty. Guilty. yeah like yeah I, you know, I, I, we try to show some some of the bs too but i don't i don't people might disagree with this but i don't think i, I don't post nearly enough like when i do post it's usually mm. just me and my dog or something yeah. real estate related or something yeah. fun that i'm doing but yeah i don't I used to post like during, especially during COVID, I would like accidentally drop an egg on the floor. Definitely going in my story. That's like, I'm an idiot. I'm a klutz. Like, I think it's important to share that kind of stuff. Yeah. I feel like maybe I should shoot a video today because I haven't really posted anything in a while about like, hey, this has been like a really hard week, you know? It has been a hard week. It's been a hard, Yeah. yeah, two weeks probably. And I feel like you, like we were talking yesterday, I think like everyone's kind of feeling it and Mm -hmm. whether they're acknowledging it or recognizing it, I just think like the world just seems off. Yeah. Especially like the last couple of days. Yeah. It's understandable, you know, obviously, but. I was talking about like, I went for lunch with my parents and um, my mom was saying that too. She's like, I feel like everyone's really angry right now. Like there's a lot of anger out there right now. I Mm -hmm. think everyone's just like overwhelmed. Yeah, well, it's, there's, there's just so much. It's uncertainty, right? It's like, mm-hmm. holy, sh- like, what's going on for? Well, not to go back to real estate, but I guess we are real estate agents. But like, what's happening? What's going to happen in this market? Are interest rates ever going to come down? Yeah. Are prices going to keep falling? Are they even falling? <laughs> like, yeah. you know, it's really hard to know what to do. And you of course, the sorry, don't mean to interrupt, but I was thinking it makes me think. Like, so my house now, I've had sixty showings. Not including like the people have come through the open house. So like there's been like over a hundred people come through my house. Not one offer. But I'm constantly looking at what like I look most of the people that are looking are looking at Oakville Burlington. And I'm looking at 
what has sold. And like, none of those agents have like, maybe like I've seen like two or three of them purchase homes. So where are all those people going? What are all those people doing? Like, I've been like literally like scanning every day. See like, oh, that agent came through my house just to see if their client bought anything similar, like what price range, like being hyper aware of that. And like, I'd say like maybe three or four have actually bought. Yeah. And I'm like, what are these people buying? Nothing. They're just kind of they're just like, oh, yeah, like we're I think um I think Chris was saying I'm, I'm gonna maybe butcher the numbers a bit, but like we usually average about nine, I think it's ninety thousand roughly transactions a year. I think the last two years we did around 70-ish, 70, 75,000. Uh-huh. And I think we're only on pace to do like I don't even know, 65,000 or 70,000, something like it's like another slow, slow year. So that's why it's, everyone's trying to time the bottom of this market, but there's so much pent up demand and yeah, you're, you're, I mean, your place that's, that's no offers at all. Hey, eh? like okay. <laughs> who's your realtor? What's going on? It's been really great. <laughs> And the guy that like that her like business partner, he's really great too. Yeah, well, that guy <laughs> sounds awesome. He sounds phenomenal. You should let him take the reins. Maybe you're you're too close to it. It's weird. I am. I'm like it's yeah. it's too too close for comfort. Yeah. Like I even I don't even call people for feedback anymore because I just can't handle it. Mm. Oh yeah, you're supposed to give me those names so I can do it. I know. Yeah. But... Sorry. Well, I'll get on that. Sorry. Maybe your partner. <laughs> okay, I suck. It's my fault. My fault. Now I get it. I always would be like, you know what? I have to control like like clients and stuff. And now I'm just like, I just bought and sold a lot of my own homes. Like I've sold one, two, three, four, five. This is like my sixth house I've ever sold. That's mine. And I've never experienced this level of stress <laughs> selling a house before. <laughs> but, this, is the wor- this is the worst market we've ever experienced in our careers, 100%. Easily. Easily. Like, I can't remember the stats because I on the Zoom this morning, was, I think he was saying it's like the worst market since like maybe the 90s, like just in terms maybe. of overall activity. And yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's, don't beat yourself up. You're a great realtor. You're going to get it. <laughs> well, I know I got a really good deal <laughs> on the house that I bought. So I know yeah. I, I scored then. So I'm challenging, but like relative to like the, the grand scheme of things, it's like, no, no, like if I sell for lower, I bought for lower. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. But yeah. If it just faced a little more south. <laughs> it's two degrees off. Two degrees off. <laughs> Clients like show they show up with a sundial. They're like, mm. well, I told you, I actually I actually said the H. <laughs> The direction of the face of the comic compass on my phone. I'm like, no, see, this is. He didn't respond to me. That was a bit of an inside inside joke there. Long story short, one of the showings complained that this her house didn't face west enough or south enough. What was it? No, they said it faced southeast. They said no, it faces southwest. And they said, well, it was really dark for being southwest. But then again, it was a cloudy day. I think my client just wants only south, <laughs> or maybe a little bit southwest. She didn't believe me that the house space is southwest, so I sent her a compass. <laughs> a screenshot of my compass. <laughs> I'm happy you did that. That's amazing. Um, <laughs> that's so un-April, like you would like. That's so like, and that just shows how how fed up you are with this situation in this market. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I guess circling back to the first question, though, you didn't answer it. If if you could ask one, oh, I guess you said, "What is the meaning of life?" That was your question. If you could have, uh, like, what is your purpose? Answer, what is, what is the purpose for us being here? Yeah. What do you think it is? What's, your... What's mine? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you're you're about to answer my question. <laughs> I think mine, I think my question would be, mm, God, I don't know. I don't know. I still, I still don't know. (laughs) Like, of course, yeah. What's the meaning of life would be great. 
but I think it's pretty like, what could it be, right? Like we've been alive for thousands of years. Like, oh, what have we done? We've built stuff. You fall in love, you recreate. So we, our hum, human species continues on. So it's obviously about that. Yeah. I think it's just about continually improving the planet as much as like, who knows? <laughs> like, but what else could it be? What else could it be? Are we just like kind of like the, biology gone wrong maybe evolution gone wrong speak for yourself <laughs> now we're gonna go super deep <laughs> no, no no not today did you see that thing i i don't you probably didn't but <laughs> i posted on my instagram stories the underwater octopus <laughs> no i did not <laughs> and the way it glides around <laughs> go on no, it's just like when you think about it again, too, like there's some pretty crazy things out there that we're not even like aware oh. of. Oh, you want to talk about the ocean? <laughs> yeah. That's a whole, that's a whole other conversation. <laughs> not that I know a lot about it, but holy hell, like there's, there's so many undiscovered species on, in, under the, like in the ocean that we have. Yeah. Some of the stuff they're finding now is like, they're, you, people are scared of aliens. You should be scared of the ocean. Well, that's like this thing. It's like, actually really cool. Like, I kind of want to have, like, hang out with it. But look at <laughs> it's yeah. called, uh, it's called a Ciro Chuthi. I can't pronounce octopus. Mm. And look at the way it moves across the ocean floor. A little closer. A little to your right. Yeah. Up. That's good. What is it doing? It has, like, a dress. I know. Cool. It's not neat. Yeah. Have you seen My Octopus Teacher? Okay, what? Not that's a movie. It's a documentary. My Octopus Teacher. Oh. <laughs> no, but I heard it's really good. I, yeah. I, it's on Netflix, right? You should watch it tonight. Yeah. You should watch it tonight. It's uh, we won't get into it. It's a great movie. It's a great movie. Slash documentary. Okay. The guy literally becomes friends with an octopus. Like. They have a serious connection. Really? Real. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty cool. And then you learn a lot about octopus, octopi, octopus, I don't know, whatever. Octopi? Yeah. <laughs> What's octopus plural? Is it octopi? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All right. We're going to end on that note. <laughs> Bye, April's house, somebody. <laughs> I don't even know what this was, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how do you un, un here we go?